real fast. I need I need a pistol, but I need it to be able to take down an elephant. Y you need a pistol to take down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh. Get it. Go. Go. Go, go get it. Well, I, uh, I hope you're all right with one shot, but uh, yeah, this rear should do the trick. <sighs> 3220 Winchester? You got anything bigger? Don't worry. It comes with a second barrel and 44 Magnum. Here you go, brother. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. You forgot to pay. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Brandon's Ballistics. I'm your host, Brandon Barker, and today we're out on the range. So, we get another shooty, shooty, bang, bang video. So, uh, this one's a special one. We're actually looking at, in a way, two different guns in the same video. Uh, it's the same gun, two different barrels. So, in the past, you saw me shoot two different Thompson Center uh, firearms. Uh, one was a Thompson Center uh, Flint. Was that one the Flint? No, that one was the uh, the shotgun that used number 11 primers, black powder. The other one was a Flintlock uh, 50, caliber, 50 caliber muzzle loader using black powder. This, however, is not black powder. This is traditional arms. So, uh, you know, traditional ammo, I guess I have to say, rather. So, uh, instead of having to deal with black powder... We're getting to, uh, you know, two different fun calibers. So, but before, let's go ahead and introduce the gun. Uh, this is from Thompson Center. So, uh, you can kind of see there, maybe or so. It seems to me to be a Thompson Center contender. However, I don't see a name that says that anywhere on the gun. I only see Thompson Center. So, if it's not a contender, I am sorry. <laughs> uh, as far as I can tell, it is a contender, but uh, I don't see it anywhere. So, I'm going to call it a contender. If I'm wrong, write me in the comments. So, uh, like I said, if it said it somewhere on the gun, I would call it something different. But, to me, it's a contender since it looks just like them. The contenders I've saw are black powder, so I don't know. It seems to be a contender, but... Whatever it is, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, yes, not, not single action. It is single shot only. So, uh, of course, single shot only. That's the barrel and no magazine. So, uh, yeah, it sucks it's single shot. However, in return for only having a single shot, they give you two options for uh, you know the type of single shot you're going to use. Of course, that's uh, th it's not only chamber that needs two options. You can get a different barrel... For almost, you know, I'm going to see every caliber, but a ton of different calibers. All you do is change the top. If you want to turn it into a rifle, uh, as far as I know of, you can still use a top barrel and put a you know, more rifle length barrel in it. Uh, I'm making an SBR, so uh, be careful on that one. I'm not 100% certain that they're switchable like that. I, I saw that you know that there's uh, top barrels that you can put onto it and change it, and I also saw different bottoms that you can put those barrels onto, so I would think they're compatible, but I don't have one in front of me, so I can't guarantee that. <laughs> uh, there does appear to be what I looked online, but do your own research. Uh, definitely, if they are compatible, uh, check your local laws, because uh, that would make it an SBR. So, yeah, back to the gun. <laughs> uh, the, the barrel I have on it right now is in a caliber that I actually never heard of before, and before I bought this gun. Uh, yes, this is my gun. So it's not sponsored by anybody but myself. <laughs> uh, 3220 Winchester. Uh, that is a caliber that I've never heard of before. Uh, I was, like, whenever uh, my local gun store, uh, speaking of the gun store, anytime I buy something from a gun store, if I remember what gun store I bought it from, I try to shout the gun store's name out. Uh, this one came from a, you know, Local as far as in the same county as me, Weber's Har uh, Services and Hardware in Whitesville. So, uh, John Weber is the owner there. Uh, he's a uh, really nice guy. He uh, we worked out some deals on some different guns. So, actually, a lot of the guns coming up is coming from his store. So, uh, you know, I, 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 end up get, I end up letting go of some of my collection to be able to get some fresh things for the channel. Not to mention they're awesome. So, I uh, got some, you know, some cool things coming up. Uh, some I've already shown, like I've already hinted about this gun and the uh, gun I uh, uploaded for yesterday. But there's some that y'all don't know about yet. <laughs> and like I said, he's the failure that is, um, you know, he offered to let me borrow his flamethrower now. But uh, I'm pretty sure uh, I get a call from the, uh, you know, fire department if I did. Because... 
that would very quickly got out of control. <laughs> so I thought I'm going to wait till winter uh, to do that video. He also has a uh, bowling ball cannon. I might just buy that off of him because he said I could borrow it. Uh, you know, I had to buy, of course, the bowling ball to put it into it. Uh, or he sells it with the bowling ball because I doubt I'd find it. And if I do find it, I don't know if it's, if I can reshoot it. Uh, so, you know, I'd have to buy the bowling ball. But be kind of cool to have a bowling ball cannon. So, <laughs> I might just buy that. I don't know. Uh, stay tuned to find that out. Or, uh, some people donates to the, uh, to the ammo fund, donate to the cannon fund. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, back to this beauty. So yeah, whenever he showed, uh, whenever I left the gun store, and uh, I was there to pick up another gun, and he showed me this. And I wanted one of these ever since I saw one. Years ago when I saw these, I wanted... Even the black powder ones, I, I just wanted one of these. I don't know why. I just always did. And then I finally had the chance to... I had to get it. And to my luck, he had, you know, two barrels for it. He had the 44 Magnum. We'll be shooting that later on. Both of these scoped, of course. And we had the caliber that I never heard of before. The 3220 Winchester. So, anyway, a lot of people that, that you know talk to me outside the channel know that one of my goals in life is to have at least one firearm in every single caliber made at least you know the caliber you can get your hands on you know some of the old calibers that you can't get your hands on or people have to hand load or whatever all right you know whatever but the ones that you can buy easily uh i mean i guess 3220 you can't buy too too easily it's not something i've seen in the gun stores a lot uh I also need to find some 25 ACP ammo. That's another gun to be coming up. But yeah, I got to find it somewhere. <laughs> it's another one you don't see a whole lot. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, show you how the gun works. So of course you have, I don't know if you can see. Uh, no, not really. The camera does not do a, well, kind of. Let's see if I can find the target. All uh, right. That's about as good as I can do. I, I, I'm not coordinated enough to be able to get you a, a real good aim at the target. But it, you know, it magnifies pretty well. It's a whole lot more magnified in real life than it is in the camera. <laughs> I guess cameras just have a hard time with scopes. Uh, like any other scope, you have, you know, your uh, different adjustments. You have your uh, weightage and your elevation. Uh, th it, this is a 2 by 20 So, uh, you know, keep in mind, this is not a rifle. Uh, while this, you know... A lot of people will probably consider this as an intermediate rifle cartridge. Don't know that for a fact. I'm just just looking at it. You know, a lot of people wouldn't expect this to come out of a pistol. Uh, this is still a pistol with a short barrel, so it's not like you're trying to get you know 100 yard hits. You might be able to do that. I don't know. That's not something I have ever tried. Uh, however, I will say this thing's a tack driver. <laughs> so now if I miss, it's pretty bad. But I did sight this scope in, so I shouldn't miss. I say shouldn't. So then, yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try hitting a few different targets. So, uh, the cool thing, uh, just like the single shot shotguns, the Hatfields that I did a uh, video on, and the Gotcha uh, single shot shotgun, you open the breech. Because, yes, this is a break open pistol. Instead of a break open shotgun, this is a break open pistol. So, you're going to pull on the trigger guard. And this one, it, just, some of them are easy, some of them are rough. You know, a little, little tough, rather. So you're going to give it a little pull, and then your breech is open. Now from here, you can go ahead and throw your bullet in, and then you can do one of two things. You can either close, and then try to, you know, in my case, i got a fat finger, you can kind of snake it in there, and then cock. Speaking of the trigger, the trigger is very, very nice in this gun. I mean, it is just, uh, I don't know if, it, if I can show it too well, but... Like, you just barely... Just gonna show we're on empty again. We are empty. The trigger on this is a dream. Just watch the movement. <laughs> the trigger on this is amazing. Of course, what do you expect from Thompson Center? So, uh, that, you know, this trigger is almost better than a 1911 trigger. It's just that nice. So, uh, yeah, you can either cock it like that, or if you have fat fingers like I do, I cock it here. And then come down. Uh, it's whatever, you know, your preference, I guess. Is it safe doing it like that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, it seems to be fine for me. Just keep your finger out of the trigger well uh, when you, you know, close it. Uh, yeah, that just me. Uh, keep in mind, if, you, if this is cocked, 
Oh, yeah. Um, after you pull the trigger and a hammer goes down, you then have to open the breech back up to recock it. Uh, this lets me explain two things here. So if your hammer is back and you go to, to open the, uh, you know, you break open the gun, hammer goes down. I don't know if that fires the gun. We will find that out here in a minute. So uh, that would be actually interesting to know because I don't know if there is a safety mechanism in there that won't let you fire the gun. I'm not going to do it with the 44 Magnum, though. I'm going to do it with the 3220. <laughs> so uh, I'm hoping that's the, that's the, you know, if it does do some kind of weird things, it's more safe. But yeah, I, my guess is there's some kind of safety feature. I couldn't imagine a Thompson Center gun having that big of a safety flaw. So, uh, you know, I, I guess now all that's left to do is get to the shooting. So we got two things to be able to talk about before we get to the shooting. Uh, first thing is going to be code word. Code word of the day, arms. Yeah, like arms, A-R-M-S, or arms. You know, like, you know, right to bear arms, which is uh, something that should be very important to everybody. <laughs> but some people want to give those rights away. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Uh, this might be the only, the only type of firearm we can own until they eventually take those away too. So, uh, you know, that just all you have to do is talk to these other states. Uh, there's a couple of my viewers from other states that are, have ridiculous restrictions. Talk to them and see exactly how uh, you know, just sitting around and not, you know, voting for your rights worked out for them. Not necessarily that guy, you know, the, the, guy, the guy you're talking to from different states, but for the people that's in his states that just let this happen. Yeah, they lose all their, you know, they slowly start losing more and more of their rights, and then it just, it's a, it's a downward, uh, you know, downward slope. You, you, they keep losing more and more and more. So uh, make sure to stand up peacefully, of course, guys, girls, llamas. Definitely those damn llamas. <laughs> but peacefully, of course. But let's go ahead and get to uh, shooting. So we got the code word down. You know what we got to do next. That's right. Here protection. Uh, honestly, this, this time of day, I probably could use eye protection, but I'm using a scope. So one eye, one eye is going to be closed. So it's not even, it's not even sexy squints. It's actually eye closed, which isn't good enough for a ricochet, but shooting at longer distances. So it should be fine. Uh, but I'm also shooting through a scope and I don't know if, I mean, yes, it's possible to use your glasses through a scope. Uh, it's just sucks. <laughs> so, uh, this is all bragging about the accuracy of this gun. I, you know, I, I don't want to miss, so uh, I'll give myself every benefit I can now. So let's go ahead and break this open. Let's throw the first round in her. Once again, that is the 3220 Winchester. Now it's a you know, beefy round. You can compare that to the 44 Magnum. Uh, yeah, that might give you some kind of comparison to how big this round actually is. It is the same length as the 44 Magnum is just not as girthy and the bullet is not as heavy. So uh, this round will be going pretty fast and pretty far. So make sure to know your backstop, make sure to know what's behind your backstop. Safety, 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 safety. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get her closed. And I should have cocked it and my hands are cold, so that sucks. So, uh, oh yeah, we're just going to test to see if it fires. So. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the hammer back. I'm pointed down. Okay. So there is a safety feature there. Yeah. So it did not hit the uh, primer. So that is safe. You can do that. It will come down and I won't fire the bullet. It still makes me cringe. <laughs> I really wasn't for sure what was going to happen. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's good to know. You know, if you, you decide to shoot, and if you don't want to put the hammer down that way, you can always just open the breech, and then um, there must be a hammer block. But we're not here for uh, hammer blocks. We're here to see a ding. So uh, let's go ahead and get the first shot off. Uh, let's go with the man-sized target right there. Big ol' uh Big old boom. I, I don't know how, if I hit up on camera, but it like lit up the surrounding area. <laughs> uh, the recoil on this, for this bullet, honestly, isn't that bad. This is kind of a heavy gun. So the recoil is, you know, I don't know, probably like 
a 380, really. Uh, you wouldn't think that, but because this is a lot more heavier than a 380, actually, no, it's it's not, it's not even like up to a 9mm, really. I think this recoil is easier than a 9mm. I'm trying to give us an example. Maybe a 32? So, uh, yeah, the recoil on this gun, since it's heavy, honestly isn't that bad. Uh, you know, it's, it's a little more rough on the uh, 44 Magnum, but it still recoils easier than a, uh, you know, let's say a 6-shot 41 Magnum or a 5-shot or whatever uh, because, of the you know, it's kind of heavy. Uh, I'll have the, uh, you know, weight and dimensions and all that stuff down in the description if you want to see that information. Um, I've been told a lot of people fast forward when I go through uh, that, so... I'm just going to put it in the description. If, if you may want to know the, you know, the stuff like that, the more uh, technical details, I'll leave it down there. So, but yeah, let's go ahead and get to shooting another shot. So we have bullets. We have bullet in chamber. We are cocks. And let's go ahead and hit the gong. Tight driver. So yeah, she's very accurate. Now, let's see. I'm preaching about the accuracy. I don't know if I'm gonna hit this. I, I can hit it with the rest. I've not tried this offhand. Let's try that little one right there. So uh, this will be a test. <laughs> I really don't know if I can hit this. Uh, I'm going to give myself three shots. So uh, it's going to be edited. If I miss it, it's going to be edited to where it's like boom, edit, boom, edit, boom. So uh, hopefully I just hit the first time. So let's find out. Wow, it's hard to see. First shot. Second shot, baby. Woo! <laughs> so, uh, I, I might not edit that where people can see start to finish. I hit it on the second shot. I was just barely off the first one. So, uh, I must have pulled that one a little bit. But, yeah, this thing is a tight driver. Uh, yes, it's a pistol. Yes, it's a short barrel. It doesn't mean that the accuracy isn't there. So, uh, just going to get one more shot off. Or I'm actually going to do a couple more shots. So, chamber. Should have cocked. And now, let's just do it right here. So you can see the muzzle flash. <laughs> oh, I love the smell of gunpowder. <sighs> see you one more time. <laughs> I, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there's just stuff raining down. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I don't know why they didn't go out the first time. Uh, hard power possibly. That is the first one out of that bunch of uh, ammunition that's not fired. And I've shot this a lot because I like this gun. I, I, I probably have 150 rounds through it by now. <laughs> I really like this gun. Uh, speaking of really liking this gun, as I mentioned, it has two barrels. So, uh, here we go. Now we have the 44 Magnum barrel. Oh, yeah. Bigger bullet, more recoil, bigger flash. <laughs> so, it's all the same stuff. Uh... I'm not going to try to shoot the little tiny target. Uh, while I sighted that one in to be able to be a tight driver, I've not uh, shot this one a whole lot because the ammo for this is uh, ridiculously expensive. So uh, I don't have a whole, whole lot of... I mean, I forgot. I started out like 50 rounds or 100 rounds or something like that. So, you know, uh, I'm trying to... Uh, no, I think I, I had 50 rounds. And I shot it around 25 times. <laughs> so it was fun. It's before I realized it's a little bit off. It's still good enough to be able to hit that target and maybe that target. I've not tried that one, but I know it can hit that one pretty easily. So, uh, I, I know I missed it once. So, I, I know it's a little bit off, but uh, hopefully it's going to be good enough to be able to hit a target on this video. Let's go ahead and take a round. Throw in the two. <laughs> it's so fun. And uh, let's go and hit that man-sized target. This is so fun. 
Uh, let's go ahead and get one more in. Let's see if it's good enough to be able to hit the gong. I don't actually know. I've not tried it yet. So, uh, let's see if it's sighted in good enough to hit the gong. Heck yeah, it is. <laughs> First shot. So, yeah, uh, it's sighted in better than I thought it was. <laughs> I did put, I did, I did put the bore sight on it, but the elevation's a little bit off, so I guess it shoots a little high. Looking at the uh, the dark mark on the target, it did shoot a little bit high, maybe uh, you know. So it needs to be just a little tiny bit. Definitely good enough to be able to you know, hit the target, hunting or no. And uh, whether or not I can take down an elephant like I did in the uh, in the skit, I don't know if I can take down an elephant or not, but. Uh, Take not a bear. <laughs> Should have said bear in a skit. Uh, not elephant, but it's a skit, you know. Uh, laugh, okay? Please, laugh. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get a uh, quick little uh, shot like this. Just like the last one. So we got 44 Magnum into the chamber. Hammer cocked. And... Oh, that is so fun. And just like I did the last one, let's go get one more. People might ask, Brandon, is what you're, is what you're doing a waste of ammo? Hmm. I'll respond, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> it's fun. It's all right to have fun on the range, okay? I, 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 I've combined K and guys. Uh, guys, gals, llamas, whatever. It, I wonder if I get smoked. Ah! <laughs> Yes, it is all right to have fun on the range. As long as you're safe with it, you can have fun. Okay? That, that, don't let people say you always got to hit targets. Let people say you have to, oh, it, that anytime you're on the range, you have to be trying to better your skills. Uh, you're trying to train how you fight, you know, type of mentality. Well, it is good to get your training in. Absolutely. <sighs> Live a little. You know, have a little fun. Shoot, shoot a two liter. Uh, shoot some Tannerite. Uh, just shoot the dirt and see how, you know, how, how high the dirt flies up in the air. Yeah, you know, have fun. Uh, as long as it's safe, of course. You know, you got to always have safety as your number one feature. Uh, you got to know uh, what your backstop is, what's beyond your backstop. Uh, I'm shooting into a little mountain, so uh, that's totally fine. <laughs> and back that way, I'm also shooting into a little mountain. I'm actually thinking about expanding that. That's where I can, because uh, I can expand that and make a, uh, maybe a 100-yard rifle range. Um I'd have to get a bulldozer. Uh, luckily, a buddy of mine has a bulldozer, so uh, we might be able to, you know, get a hundred yard range in. That's something later on down the range, down the way, because his dad owns the bulldozer. Dad owns a company, so uh, it's, I still have to pay. I just get a discount rate. But anyway, uh, enough for the future things. Let's go ahead and uh, close your route. So yeah, what do you think of this Thompson Center? Assuming it's a contender. Okay, if I'm wrong, you know, I'm wrong. It doesn't say on the gun, but it looks like a ten. It looks like a contender. So, uh, yeah, what do you think about it? Uh, you can get uh, the barrel in twenty two. I saw uh, nine millimeter, three eighty. I think a bunch of other different rounds, uh, calibers. I think three three fifty seven. So, uh, you know, it, you can have a whole lot of fun with this in different calibers. You don't have to just do the expensive rounds. You know, forty four Magnum, uh, thirty two twenty Winchester. You can do the cheaper rounds. And yeah, single shots while not. In ways, it's not as fun as a semi-auto. It doesn't it has you know, 30 rounds. And while I wouldn't want to give it up to only shooting a single shot, they're still fun, okay? Uh, and if you want to test yourself hunting, if you, if you want to pistol hunt, have a scoped pistol, this will definitely take down anything in North America. Uh, I can't say for anybody else right in, you know, in other places in the world. Like I said, I don't, I, I don't think it would take down an elephant. I mean, I, I'll be honest. I don't think it would. But definitely, I think, I think this will definitely take down a grizzly. Uh, I would just take down a grizzly. I would rather have more than one shot. Like, I still want a backup gun, <laughs> just in case it didn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe another uh, one, uh, maybe a, a uh, Glock uh, in 10 millimeter. Like, if, if I was going to go pistol only, uh, I'd have a Glock uh, 10 millimeter. I, not that I have one. I want one. Uh, but a Glock in 10 mil is a backup gun, because 10 mil is definitely good enough to kill bear. And uh, if 10 mil is good enough to kill bear, 44 Magnum is definitely good enough to kill bear. So, uh, but yeah, single shot, if you miss, uh, if he's charging you, most of, most of the time he's not going to charge you, but yeah. Anyway, we're off topic, and it's getting dark. 
I'd like to be able to get one more video. I don't think it's going to happen. So I'm just going to do, I'm just going to finish out the day by having a little fun on the range. Because, uh, yeah, I got another gun with me, but I don't think I'm going to have time. So next time. <laughs> but uh, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like on the video. That helps this channel out immensely. Uh, that helps the algorithm. Not only does, you know, also commenting, subscribing, sharing, and all that. that all, you know, if you can't help out Brandon's Ballistics in any way, other in any other way, shape, or form, just doing the following helps out immensely. Liking the video helps out hugely. Uh, leaving a comment. It doesn't, it can just be, hey. You know, it can be a random, you know, random keyboard. Just, bap, put your hand on the keyboard. Bap, hit enter. That helps out a whole lot. Uh, you can talk about the gun. Even better. Longer comments. Uh, I think you're better for the algorithm. Not exactly for sure. Uh, but I also like responding to comments. So, you know, if you talk, talk about the gun or something, something I can respond to, that's even better. Because I, I like being able to, to uh, talk to everybody. I'm, uh, or, I'm, yeah, I, I like being social. Uh, make sure to share this video around with your friends and family. That, that those three things greatly help out the algorithm. But also, definitely, be subscribed. That button over there... Uh, I, if you think you're subscribed, always check to make sure you're subscribed. YouTube has a uh, history of unsubscribing people. So, you know, you, you want to make sure you're subscribed and they didn't unsubscribe you. And, uh, you know, definitely, you got to do all those things anyway if you want to be in the giveaway. Speaking of, uh, I'll get ready to do the live stream. So, uh, you know, if you're wondering what day I recorded this video, it was on Sunday at, like, 5.30. <laughs> so, yeah, I got 30 minutes before I got to do that live stream. So, yeah, I got about 15 minutes before dark. I'm going to shoot me a couple more rounds of the other gun I bought. Uh, I'm not going to say what it is. Uh, God, I bought a lot. Uh, really, really wouldn't, you know, tell you. I bought another Target 22 uh, pistol. Uh, it's a uh, Ruger Mark III. So I'll go ahead and say that much. It, it's going to be in a future video. Uh, that one wasn't for Weber's Hardware. But uh, you know, anyway, if you're local, check out Weber's Hardware and Tool. Uh, Weber's Services and Hardware. Uh, he also has guns and ammo and accessories so uh check him out he's an awesome guy and, he, and, his, and his prices are fair so yeah give him a check out uh make sure to check out my other videos you know uh in the playlist uh, if you want to if you want to help out Brandon's list a lot with the uh with the algorithm go to my playlist that has all the video all the videos listed click on the very first one uh, right before you go to bed and then just let them all play <laughs> while you're sleeping that helps out a lot so yeah if you, if you want to help out the algorithm just do that <laughs> <laughs> do it over and over again uh yeah that helped out a lot but yeah uh it's dark i'm gonna quit talking i'm sure y'all are tired of me talking so uh and plus it's getting too dark so uh, yeah we'll see it in the next video peace